Good job, Guy Pierce. You're probably gonna give me nightmares now. Lawless. So Lawless is a story that takes place in Prohibition era Virginia. And of course, when something becomes illegal, there's now a black market for it. So people made moonshine and they sold it. Moonshine's, you know, shitty alcohol. But it gets the job done. Now it's a party! So Shia LaBeouf, Tom Hardy, and family, they make moonshine and they sell it. And after that, you know, crime and murder and money and, you know, the good stuff. All right, so first of all, let's talk about Shia LaBeouf, because he's really the main character in this movie. Shia LaBeouf was really good in this movie, and I'm glad. I'm glad we got to see him in another role other than, uh, Explosions. It's always good when an actor can show their acting chops. Shia LaBeouf does have them. And he has this romance with this one chick, the chick from Alice in Wonderland specifically. And you know, it's a really cute thing going on. You know, you're like, all right, cool. Go for it, man. She killed the Jabberwocky after all. So I'm glad Shia LaBeouf carried his weight in this movie. And a big weight it was. He's the main character. Tom Hardy. I love seeing Tom Hardy. Dude's a great actor. I just wish he said more. Literally, a lot of the times he was like, mm -hmm. That was his line of dialogue. I loved his voice though. It's pretty much, you know, what happens to Bane when he loses the fight for Gotham's soul and then he just goes into Prohibition era America and gets trashed. Well, it's not stand on ceremony here, Mr. Wayne. He was a man of few words, but the dude took action. I loved how he never really flipped his top. He kept his cool all the time. I mean, someone could get their head ripped off right in front of him. He'll be like, hmm. I like people like that. As long as they have the right cast, characters, and actors around that person who can counterbalance the fact that he doesn't talk that much, it works, and it did in this movie. Now let's get down to business here. Guy Pierce is in this movie, he's the agent trying to shut down all the moonshine. He's like, nope, not having it. Well, fact is, he's one creepy son of a bitch. He has all the character traits of a serial killer. It turns out, though, he works for the government. He has this creepy middle part, you're just like, you're... You're off, dude. Again, where's Dexter when you need him? This guy would be like a perfect villain for Dexter. Finally, after the past two shitty seasons they've had. Gary Oldman's in the movie, kind of. I won't lie, Gary Oldman had one of the best introductions that a character has had in a movie all year. One of, anyway. He just gets out of his car, takes a Thompson, and just shreds this car with this guy in it. Takes a Tommy gun to the entire thing, just... <laughs> After that, he's in like one more scene. It just bummed me out. Gary Oldman wasn't in the movie really at all. He could have been played by anybody. It wouldn't have affected the movie at all. And I know the natural reaction to a statement like that is going to be, um, actually, Anthony Hopkins was only in Silence of the Lambs for 15 minutes and he stole the show. That is realistically 10 more minutes than Gary Oldman is in Lawless. Now, the thing is, I don't think people are going to get what they want out of this movie. Some will, yeah, but some won't. It's ultimately a period piece. The period being Prohibition era Virginia. But if people want an action movie, you know, with Tommy guns flying, and they want bats cracking over people's head. Well, there are a couple of scenes where that, those things do happen. Or things like that anyway, but it's not a big part of the movie. It really is a drama. It's a realistic representation of the Prohibition era. It's like one of those movies when a history teacher in high school is teaching about the Prohibition era, he should probably show Lawless to the class. It would do the era justice. It's just kind of the shit that went down there. So I enjoyed the movie, but is this movie for everyone? No. If someone's like, oh, dude, I loved it, I'll be like, oh, I understand why. And if someone's like, dude, it bored the shit out of me, I'd be like, yeah, I understand understand why. Ultimately, Lawless is a good time, no alcohol required, as long as you know what you're in for, and as long as you enjoy the Prohibition era. It's interesting, but it does have its boring shit, I recognize that. Alright, so your favorite Prohibition era story, movie, book, show, whatever. Make way for the organized crime, whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.